Welcome to this edition of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, um, I'm going to take, be taking a look at this, a little bit of an unboxing now. I was going on a business trip, got this box, my wife opened it, so we're going to be doing a taking it out of the box. But before we go there, one of the things is, you guys know I purchased this uh, 501S a while back. And so one of the things I had talked about doing is building a camera platform for this. Now, this does have a 1080p camera up here, which is really a good camera. You guys seen it in some other videos. But uh, having another camera platform on this uh, I thought would be interesting. So I was going to design one, then, and then on Amazon I saw this. Now, I've seen these before, and here it is. And, and uh, let me move some of this stuff out of the way so we can work with it a little bit and take it out of plastic. Now, I had seen these before. But they had them on sale, I think, for around $34. And for $34, uh, bucks, I thought it really worthwhile to get an experiment with. Because, as you can see, this is a bit of an intricate contraption, if you will. And I thought by the time I design one up and everything, I'm going to have that in it in time and everything else. So I went ahead and uh, got it. And I'll have links for this below. Um, now, it didn't come with any instructions. Uh, which is kind of interesting and so the way that this kind of looks and works is it's going to be something along this line now the camera is supposed to sit in here somehow which is rather interesting um, because I, it appears that somehow Okay, whew. this was a little bit of um, a challenge. I think I have it correct. So, uh, if you see the orientation I have, how these are turned in and these are turned in, and they snap on here now, they appear to come just above so it holds on to the top of this bracket on each. And it's about equal distance, so this is sitting in the center, so the center gravity is about equal. Now, one of the things I also like about that this not that this is these landing feet so one of the the big pieces is if you notice when i got my finger nicked which it's still nicked two weeks later um it uh sits sits up off the the surface so you know when you come back and land you technically probably could come and, and probably if you want to grab the camera or one of these but i still think it's a little bit risky you could probably do a catch grab on, on something like that and it's better than trying to grab the base of this where your hand is going to go up and get nicked like this uh, or get caught in the prop so that's uh, definitely not a good thing however the one thing I do notice so I've got my knockoff GoPro and the piece is is it's not won't fit in here uh, it's wider than obviously the GoPro because one of the things the GoPro is meant to sit in here and this locks it in place. So these side pieces hold it horizontally and then these side piece, this, this piece holds it vertically uh, in place and you simply take this apart. Now this doesn't disturb me too much because one of the pieces I had intended on doing was developing my own carrier because I'm going to uh, put the run cam in here. So let's take a quick look at that. So with the run cam, if we kind of move this out of the way, I think you can see this This will fit in here nicely. And I think the weight ratio of this, this to this, it's pretty close to the same. But I think from an aerodynamic standpoint, let's look at these flying through the air towards you. Obviously, this has a lot bigger surface area uh, than this does. And again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably go off Thingiverse, download a case for this modify that case to fit in here and then simply take this out because there's a couple allen bolts here and then bolt this in and attach it now what i'm going to do for safety's sake um i thought i noticed it somewhere it might be on the actual case itself i thought there was a land oh yes right here there's a lanyard uh connection here so what i'm going to do is take a little bit of fishing string loop it through here and then when I attach it here, bring it up and loop it through probably one of these grommets or um, uh, such, you know, as a secondary in case, you know, the vibration, which it shouldn't because it's vibration dampened or whatever, my 3D part breaks away, the camera will simply dangle from the fishing string. So I have a built-in suspenders approach to protecting the camera 
uh, and, and preventing damage um, to either the camera or something beneath it should it fall in flight. Uh, so that's what I plan on doing. But, uh, you know, for 34 bucks, I really thought this was really a, a neat addition um, to the Hubzin and really kind of solves a few problems. Now, what I, what I might actually do is 3D print up some different legs for this uh, or additional uh, legs to go on here because one of the things you notice it kind of springs. I think it'd be nice to have some sort of 3D printed runners that attach to the bottom. One of the things, let's take let's take the, the because turning it loosens it now. This is this is interesting to note. There's a tapped hole in the bottom of this, so this this will receive another uh, similar Allen screw or Allen bolt as this up here. So what I can do, and I think what I'm definitely going to do is design and 3D print up uh, some landing skids to go on the bottom of this that actually extend out a little bit longer and then Allen bolt these down here uh, for extra stability on landing to give myself a little bit more landing surface because one of the things with this I don't know you can kind of see it, it is tipsy uh, it's not too tipsy it's not as bad as I thought it would be uh, but I think having some landing pads down here will give it some better so Look for those out on Thingiverse in a future edition, and I'll talk about those when I get there. But this is a good, this is uh, worth note that uh, that that has a tapped hole, so it makes it very easy to modify. Uh, also, I think there's several other pieces here that you could build um, different carrier adapters because the other piece that I want to do here, or I'm thinking about, is flying my uh, 360 degree camera. And so the point I'm getting at here too, and also worth note, is not only is it pinned down here with a fixed hole, it, <clears throat> excuse me, it has a variable adjustment up here. So we can also move this up so I can get the, uh, because the, the 360 camera is more of a cube, I don't have it here on the bench, but it's more of a cube, and again, I can um, 3D print a mounting bracket to go in here an attached 3D camera and then be able to slide it up this bracket. So this is another important point if you're thinking about getting it. I think there's uh, this is really a versatile piece, again, removing this. And if you have a 3D printer, uh, you can really make a lot of interesting parts to go in here or different payload packages for this guy because it, it does produce a lot of thrust. Um, so it can carry a pretty good payload. Now, naturally, that's going to come at the cost of battery life. But it's sort of okay because depending upon what you want to achieve, you got to you got to make some trade-offs. Um, it does seem to be pretty good as far as the you know the the jelloing and and, and support here. Uh, would be kind of cool if we could design up some sort of little gimbal, even a two-axis gimbal, because I think this is a great quadcopter for the money. And I really hope Hubson's listening, and they come out of ver with a version of this about this size, with a at least a two D gimbaled camera with a 1080p camera um, because even if they got to bump up the price a little bit I think it would be uh, well received in the market um, and then also kind of get, get rid of the hokey spaceship style design and go with more of a traditional drone design that doesn't look like it's for a 10 year old and uh, I think they could have a, a crazy selling product that would actually compete with uh, DJ, DJI so anyways, I um, figured I'd share this with you. Hopefully you found it interesting. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget, subscribe button's coming up over there. Hit me in the comments. Do you got one of these? Let me know what you've done with it, how you like it, if you don't like it. Have you 3D printed mounts for this? Do you have things out on Thingiverse? Let me know below. Cheers. See you in the next video.